Ladies and gentlemen, it is the quarterfinals, the, 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 the last quarterfinals match before we are moving this bitch into semifinals. We have Josh versus Yorn, and with me in the booth is Artemis 64. I want to start with Artemis. What hey. are you thinking about this match going in here? What, what are you... What are you feeling? Uh, I think this is going to be an interesting match. Yorn has practiced, has become very good with all of his effort, which is awesome to see. Josh apparently has not played for two weeks besides the weekend because of some exam and essay and stuff. So we'll see. It makes it exciting. It is definitely going to be interesting. Josh, you did get to wrap up thanks, your finals, thanks, and thanks, we did get thanks, to thanks, thanks, get the thanks. delay, and I'm sure you got some quality practice in. So. You know, now that you've warmed up a little bit, how are you feeling going into this thing? You know, uh, I played I played two hours of Mario today, feeling really good. Yeah. You know, I feel like I got as much practice in in those two hours than Yorn has in his like thirty or more mm -hmm. uh, this last week. So you it's know, about I'm quality, not quantity. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Yorn, how has the thirty hours of practice been? Uh, it's been pretty good. I've been taking like a bit of a break of Mario until like last Tuesday probably, but mm -hmm. I've been back on the grind. Got a fresh PB on uh, Friday. That is Friday night. I did see it the seventeen. So yeah, looking rather only, crisp. Only a minute quicker than me, and so so anything's right. possible. You know, anything's possible. The BLJs. Three, two, one, go. Best of luck, racers. See you on the other right. side. The timers are synced up. Josh has effectively a 10 second head start. I'm really excited for this match, personally. Yeah, I think this will actually be extremely fun to watch. Hopefully Josh actually did get some practice in. So he stops complaining. But our best see. being a bit toxic here to one of our racers. <laughs> it's uh, not, not very necessary, although it is true, you know, Josh definitely did voice his uh, his voice on, you know, the the amount of practice that has gone in. You know, obviously he hasn't uh, practiced that much. But you can't have your cake and eat it too, is is a thing that people say. It's a, it's a phrase that I've never quite understood because, honestly, I think it's, it's pretty easy to have a cake and then eat it. Um, it's usually what I do with cakes. But either way, Yorn getting up for a bomb clip here. And it is blowing Ooh. up in his face! It's not ideal. And going for bomb clip again, which is the faster alternative, but I always feel like the camera can be a bit worse when going for it a second time. But maybe it's because I'm trash. You are making it look easy. Doing all good. We do have the Josh fans in chat. The orange is rising up. Thanks. Please Thanks. keep it Thanks. nice in the chat room or I will have to ban you, okay? There's no reason to be getting toxic here. We're just having some fun. Just playing some Mario. Josh going for an Owlis. That looks pretty good. And he does wow. land. Wow. That was nice. You know, Josh, I think, maybe selling himself short. I feel like he, uh, at least, you know, based on what he was saying before, it seemed like he wasn't too hopeful on this race. But so far, he's off to quite an amazing start. Yorn's going to get extra Interesting yeah. strats here for Josh. Oh, my. I don't know about this. It, that second ledge grab was better than his first one. Okay. The adjustment. I mean, I guess after you do it enough times, you are able to kind of adjust without uh, too much problems. Yorn going for an Alice, and it's good. Can we get a prediction or something so these stupid gambling fucks shut up in the chat, please? There has to be at least one mod out there I that mean, can start a prediction. So they stop spamming about predictions for one second. Ice, it's okay. No, Ice, it's not your problem. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe we need more mods. It's possible. Um, the, or yeah, maybe... It's not like I was here the entire time. Oh, well, I wasn't doing it. That as well, but you're busy commentating. <laughs> or maybe it's possible that the gambling addicts in chat need help. Something about Josh's setup, it almost looks like his HUD. It almost looks like VC. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. It's like really smooth. Why is it so... How is it so smooth? Like what it's definitely it it's definitely N64, but like the HUD, it just it if, looks a little different than what I'm normally used to seeing. I'm wondering if he's playing maybe a modified game. He might have a filter on. I don't know. 
Oh, a nice wall kick to work from Josh. Just like that, Yorn actually s saving a lot of time in CCM. They're basically wow. neck and neck. And taking the lead with Just the castle like movement. That. Josh is no no noob to the game. The man's a veteran. He was in the freshman 16 as well. He's been around the block. But even then, the castle movement. So important. They're both moving through Dark World here. Just hoping to get no deaths. As long as they don't die. Oh, What's Josh that? going for big oh. boy strats. The big boy long jump. Just not quite. Closing the gap there. I, I feel like that long jump, unless you are super confident, is just never worth. It, it's such... If you're going to die anywhere in Dark World, that is the spot. I don't understand why people even go for it. They're not going for, like, Zaya Cycle or anything like that. Oh, and a balk from Josh. Gosh. Insult to injury. Yeah, Yorn taking his time doing the steps as intended back there. Oh, my God. I thought Josh was about to get manhandled by that Goomba. A... A nice attempt at a throw here from Yorn, but not quite able to get the bomb. Second time around, Josh looking much more confident on this run through in Dark World, but that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Still a pretty good match. I mean, you know, it always comes down to a fucking... It right. comes down to BLJs. Who cares about the rest of the game? I thought Yorn was about to go into CCM, man. Yorn was so close to going into CCM, I'm uncomfortable. The CCM two times route. Josh also interesting trying to use telekinesis to plug Bowser's tail into his hand from a distance. And Yorn getting into a fight. Nice movement here. Clean bird. Beating the shit out of the tail and moving right along. A pound. I feel like I've never seen a pound there. That pound is a really bad place to do it, because as you saw, that fire got super close to him. Because I feel like Josh has actually been playing pretty good, apart from the whole, you know, death. That yeah, was, really, that was... That was rough. Major oh! Mistake. Oh my god, Yorn in the hole! Wow. <laughs> did you see... Did you miss Josh bouncing on the lava twice? Dude, yeah. Times? Oh my... Yeah, Josh... <laughs> taking a taking his time here with these reds and out of nowhere a, a comment or screaming Mario Please don't go so fast. You are not enjoying your life. Take a breath, bro. We can do it together Inspirational a little bit sad actually as well um, Mario definitely does not give a shit and will continue to go fast So you either have to learn to love it or you need to build a bridge and get over it It's a saying I've heard many times Ever built a bridge? Gosh, oh no. my god! Josh in the hole as well? Based on the way both these players are playing, it, it really seems like it, it is anyone's game, you know? You can look at the PBs and be like, oh, it's obviously going to Yorn. Yorn missing the MIPS! Going for a nice backup here. But, uh, Josh punching Toad. But, you know, Box Box, um, Dropped out of the tournament despite having a, a higher PB. It's not it's not a guarantee. You know, some people are way more kitted towards racing. Yorn full charging into this door. That's a good clip. Yeah, it seems like the, the... I mean, Yorn was very violent with it, and it definitely seemed to work. Josh, a little bit of a Josh stepper. Going. Oh, he's going so far right. What is that? This camera angle, he's going... That might work. Still might work. Oh, no. Not quite. And that is some damage for sure. Yorn now in Fire Sea. A whole DDD ahead in game one. Second one, no problem, maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to have a quick talk with the door there, but just admiring the architecture more than anything. No chip clips have been done yet in the Invitational. Yorn going for Zero Cycle, barely wow. catching the ledge. I can't that, believe that made it. That might be one of the... Uh, is that the first zero cycle we've seen in a match? It might be. I'm not sure. It's like 0 0.5 cycle, okay? When you get the triple jump and the wall kick and the ledge grab, I, I would call that 0 0.5 cycle. I'm not gatekeeping zero cycle. I'm just saying that, you know, there's there's different flavors on the rainbow, on the spectrum of cycles. But no, it is... I mean, basically, we could just round up and say you didn't even make zero cycle and Norm just played that fire seat terribly, actually. Didn't even make the cycle. Artemis, out of nowhere, getting extremely toxic <laughs> in the booth. Wait, is Josh hitting the zero cycle? No. A 0 0.5 <laughs> cycle? 
Dude, and, uh, would attempt for 0 0.5. Uh, first try, BLJ there from Yorn. Not even going to give Josh an opening. You know, once you get the first set, you're basically good. Yorn been studying. Dropping it a bit early there. And basically, first try on the second ones as well. Honestly, I think this is PB Pace. Maybe. Maybe? What was Yorn's PB again? Up. Uh, I don't know now. After that, maybe not. <laughs> Yorn has a high 17. If that didn't happen, I think maybe it was possible. Um, what? what? Wow. You know, I'm not going to say that he's throwing or anything like that, but I will say that I have I have witnessed things like that in my life before, personally. Sometimes you just you're gripping so hard, you accidentally squeeze the Z trigger. It happens. A nice triple jump wall kick left side. Uh, oh god, the bonk of shame. Josh is through. But Yorn on pace, despite despite all these mistakes, Yorn on pace to still get a mid-18. That's a first throw. One. Uh... Not quite there on the second throw. This could be Josh's opportunity. See? This is what Josh needs. Yorn with the teleportation grab. Another missed throws. As Josh gets closer and closer to the pipe. Anything could happen. If Yorn wins this, all he needs to win is one more. Absolutely true. Thank you so much. I think so, that's how this works. Some added juicy commentary from the chat here as Yorn hits the last throw. Yo. A high 18. He is joining us now in the Discord call. Congratulations on taking game one, Yorn. How did you feel about that one? Um, I was pretty nervous. I was kind of scared after the dreadful death in HMC. Also hit early cycle in Fire C. That's only my second time ever hitting it in a run, which is pretty cool. That was rather poggers, I will say. Josh now wrapping up in Sky. Are you going to change anything up in game two? Or are you uh, feeling feeling pretty good as the nerves settled? Uh, they didn't settle yet. Maybe like off the dark world or something. Uh, but no, I'll keep to the same strats and hope I don't die in HMC. Josh, welcome to the call. You played your heart out. You had some unfortunate deaths, but overall yeah. the gameplay was, I, I will say, fairly solid. It was pretty close there for a while. It was an enjoyable game one. Commentator yeah. hoping that someone would say something there to break the awkward silence, I but know. well, nope. But I think no, it's funny. But no, it's no. fair. No, it's fair because you know I didn't really say anything that kind of provoked any sort of response. Yeah, I'm not the I'm not the commentator, man. No, I'm you're not. not. The one you're supposed to be talking. You're not. I'm true. And I'm sorry that I put that baggage on you, Josh. Uh, it's just Artemis is, you know. Uh, I just thought that silence would be funny, put you on the spot, make everything awkward. Well, you did an excellent job. It, I definitely feel very awkward. So thank you very much, Artemis. Claps in chat for making it awkward. Three, two, one, go! Good luck. Good luck. Quarterfinals. Who is going to take it all the way? All right. Oh, I have another really important question. If it all comes down to BLJs, why don't we start both runners with 16 stars after Fire C? That is a fair question. However, if you do that, then the races will be like five minutes long. Josh is like 10 seconds ahead at start. Yeah, that's a good point. I think Josh is cheating. Starting 10 seconds early. We should restart. Josh has unfair head start. And Yorn's ahead. We really have to reset this race. Josh, unfortunately, not hitting the bomb clip. It's... It's... Okay, grabbing two coins, some swag for Yorn. It's, uh... It's... It's... Oh, Alright, good commentary. I'm just gonna leave you with the awkward silence like you did to me before, <laughs> so... That's good. I can read some of the excuses I wrote down from Josh, because on Friday, I opened up the stream for five minutes and wrote down every excuse he came up with. For five minutes, he came up with six. 
or six things that he said, and it was kind of funny. Are we going to wait until the end of the match? Oh, I, I can do it now. I mean, there's nothing important happening. Oh, my Josh God. Right. Oh, my. Going for the owl is not quite. That, that was such a... He's so close to the edge when he does this triple jump. It's giving me anxiety. All right, second. Yeah, he made it. That's good. Okay. Um. Now, yeah. Um, how about how about just give me one? Well, yeah, sure. Like in this case, since he missed Owlus, I thought there was dogs barking in the background and they were losing his focus. That was one of the things he brought up. Hey, I'm not saying it wasn't justified or these are not real reasons. Oh my God! The slide kick back past the wild blue star. A rare. Mistake, is Emiru in the finals? Um, if I say yes, will you stay? Winner, this Ooh. goes on to face Korf. Those are good matches. I agree. Josh with the tactical waiting there for the triple jump. Very nice. But Yorn is just running Ready? away. He is sprinting in game two. Everything's going his way. Didn't miss bomb clip. And uh, can't say the same for Josh. The bomb clip did not work out. The Owlist did not work out. It's not quite as clean of a game here. And, you know, when I said it's earlier, and I, then I didn't say anything after it, I was going to say something. I just didn't have the words, but now I have the words. You know, I think those extra 30 hours that Yorn put in was probably well put. This is an important tournament. Of course, mm -hmm. you'd want to put time into it. Of course. Like some people. Not gonna name any names here, of course. That would be toxic. <laughs> but, you know. I would never name any names. I've never been toxic in my life. Half spins are insane. I don't understand how, like, top runners can do that. What is top going top on runners. in this race, Josh? In his ass. What is happening? Every single time. Josh can't find the tail. Figured it out, though. Pausing for a moment, not ready to talk to Bowser, taking a breath, and then talking to Bowser. Yes, we are 0 for 4 on Dark World Throws. I've never seen it. Josh at SSL, Yorn about to head out. I think this might be closer than last race, maybe? Which is not saying a whole lot. Josh did have a very tragic death in Dark World in Game 1. It's been a little bit different in Game 2, but... We've still ended up in a pretty similar spot here. As Yorn has yeah. taken off. Josh with an interesting continues. method of reds. But sorry, I talked over you there, please. Go ahead. Nope. No, it's fine. Josh just doing reds. Oh, okay. Well, now we have a little bit of extra drama here. Tension continues to build in the booth. Perhaps our most tense commentary we have witnessed in the Invitational. Um... Oh, Yorn with the bonk. That's a lot of time lost. This could be an opening here for Josh now in HMC. Uh, a bit toxic once again. Not really surprised at this point. Artemis' track record is not so hot in the booth. Unable to... Oh my god! A full-on combo in Toad's face! Uh, I don't think he's stupid for not doing it. I think the act of not doing it is stupid. Chat, would you like to expand? We have some people expanding, some people cringing, and some people just continuing to enjoy Papa Plot. A well-balanced breakfast. Actually, it's 5 p.m., sorry. We're... we're we're getting into supper territory. Are you more of a supper or a dinner kind of person? Is supper, like, what? what is, is there any difference? Does anyone know? Supper versus dinner. Or is it literally just the same shit? Talking to the door really quick here before passing the mips through. Almost getting another talc from the back. All right, Yorn, hopefully we'll make better than 0 0.5 cycle. What the hell was that? That was some cool movement that you never see. That was definitely on purpose. Oh, interesting strat. Barely catching the pole there. Gonna be hard to catch a half a zero cycle. Dinner is either lunchtime or supper time. Okay, people saying supper is old after. Some saying before. I don't know if we're gonna reach a conclusion. I'm seeing a lot of different answers. Josh, slip it on the back of the sub once again. This has been... It's it's a major hurt point, I would say, for, for all runners. What the hell? Yorn plugging in his secret adapter. I, that was not my windows. I heard some windows noises. <laughs> Wonder if we have perhaps a turbo button. It's fine, I guess. I did see some people talking on Twitter. Oh, Josh, not able to catch the wall kick. I did see some people talking on Twitter about perhaps making turbo buttons more uh, normal. Absolutely true. I'm gonna have to. Are... I'm gonna have to pause the discussion. We are at the big part, the BLJs. This could. Be... Wow. 
Wow. Continue. Um, but here we are in Bowser in the Sky. Yorn is on pace again for PB. It has to be said. This whole time, he's been cooking up a wonderful run. We will see what happens. I mean, this is definitely PB pace. This is exciting. A beautiful triple jump wall kick on the left side. Good dodge of the Goomba. Are we going to see three clean throws? This is very good PB pace. Josh, on his BLJs. Not catching them, though, there. Here we go. Again, Yorn chilling with a PB of 1756. That's throw number one. Throw number one. You got this. This is huge. Oh, that is a oh. miss. Can still oh. PB. Can definitely still it's PB. St it's still PB, but you still hate to see that. Yorn has 30 seconds of time save here. Choked in the PB as well. One more throw needed. As Josh is going on the endless stairs, winding it up. And... Nice. By far, the best time we have seen in the Invitational, a mid-17. Yorn has been practicing, been working in the lab, and it is paying off. Looking Yo. very good for semifinals. Join us in the booth. Welcome, Yorn. Congratulations on game two. And two quick ones. Nice. I can't find my mouse because VLC is a fucking terrible program. All right. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's good. Congrats uh, on this mid-17, Yorn. Great to see a PB. You. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming the nerves must have settled. And, uh, I did. After I hit Bomb Club. I saw Josh had to uh, pound the pole. That made me a, bit, uh, a little bit less nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that... It's a very rough start to go straight into a... Uh, Missed bomb clip and then a pole pounding backup. It's a soul pounding endeavor, I would say. You are up against Corf. Uh, someone wants me to ask you about the power hacking thingy. The power hacking thingy? I don't know what that is. I didn't know what it was either. I honestly felt like in the middle of asking, I regretted asking. Yo. Josh in the booth now. Welcome, Welcome back. Hey, a cleaner game too. But Yorn kind of just went Super Saiyan mode there and got a PB. Uh, PB, yep. Uh, well, thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, Josh, it, it's always a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure to hear your voice. Josh, any final words? Uh, yo.